Hi darlings and welcome to another video as part of the Fashion Mumbler Autumn Edit. I'm sad to say that this is the final video as part of the Autumn Edit but I thought it'd be a really good idea to think towards the upcoming season. We've spoken all this week about autumn trends and the perfect things that you need in your wardrobe for autumn and on that note every video as part of the Fashion Mumbler Autumn Edit 2019 will be left linked in the description box down below in a playlist you can catch up on all the autumn styling videos if you so desire but today we're going to be talking about winter trends so casting our minds forward maybe a few months when the temperatures really start to plummet what are we going to be finding ourselves reaching for what are we going to be seeing on the high streets and what kind of trends have been filtering through from the designers to the high street and the kinds of things that you and I are going to be wanting to wearing in the upcoming season darlings if you are new to my channel then I would love it if you hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I have so many amazing videos planned for helping you look stylish throughout the cooler months of the year and beyond. So I would love it if you subscribe. Please just take a second to hit that little button right now. My goal is to hit half a million by the end of the year so I would love it if you help me out. Just a small token of your appreciation for the videos that I've been creating for you lately. So without further ado we are going to move on to the top 10 trends for winter 2019 and 2020 I guess. <laughs> Okay, so the first one is something which we're already seeing on the high street, luckily. You may actually have seen it in a few of my autumn edit videos, and it is tulle. Tulle is this beautiful material, almost like a really soft net, and we are seeing it on designers such as Jean-Baptiste Valli, we're seeing it on Valentino, Simone Rocha, they all show tulle in their most recent catwalks. Personally, I love it because it is so flirty and feminine, and it's a great way of showing off a feminine style in the cooler months. Great news for those of us that want to get the look for less, we are already seeing tulle dresses in retailers like H&M, I'll leave my H&M haul linked up here if you'd like to see. Uh, the one that I picked up and also and other stories have a beautiful tulle skirt also I searched some really affordable retailers like Pretty Little Thing and Boohoo they all have some really great options for every trend that I'm mentioning there is going to be a blog post down below with loads of different things that you can pick up in all different price categories for each trend so head over to the blog if you would like some more fashion inspo and inspo on bits to buy for each trend but as I mentioned tulle is one which I'm already loving wearing and it's actually surprisingly wearable if you have the right kind of place or occasion to wear it to you can make it really suitable for cooler temperatures with a thermal underneath you can wear thermal tights nice boots over knee boots knee-high boots a thermal top and a chunky knit jumper and you are good to go so it is surprisingly wearable if you have got a really feminine style then go for it splurge on a premium or designer version or if perhaps you're not sure exactly how long you're going to want to be wearing this particular trend because it does go in and out of style then look towards the more affordable retailers like the gorgeous dress from H&M the next trend that we're going to be seeing for winter 2019 is capes. I feel like capes never really go out of style, but they do come in surges of real popularity, which they are doing now. Excuse me holding my phone, this is where I've got all the notes for the trends. Unfortunately, I can't remember them all off the top of my head. But again, I've already styled a couple of capes, which you may have spotted on my Instagram, including this one here from River Island, which is more of a really casual blanket style cape. But then you can also pick up some really sumptuous woolen capes for a slightly smarter style. I paired this Ted Baker one with an all high street look and I absolutely adored that. They can be a little bit less practical and you are slightly restricted in your movement but if you are going on a nice walk or if you're going shopping with your friends or you just got a really lovely afternoon outdoors planned and it's more about how you look than how much movement you have with your arms then I think they are a fantastic piece of outerwear. On the catwalks we saw Miu Miu and Celine rocking lots of capes. It was interesting to see they were styled over really sheer fabrics, so that kind of tool trend coming in as well, but also bralettes and styles which you wouldn't necessarily associate with winter. So if perhaps you live in a warmer climate then that's a really great way of styling the trend, but otherwise I would wear a really cozy knit like this one which I'm wearing here. I'll leave this link down below. This is one that I wouldn't usually feature in a YouTube video because it's just one of those like lounging at home knits, but oh my goodness I'm wearing it so much. It is so soft it's almost looks like shearing and it's super super stretchy um yeah love this and definitely an essential in autumn wardrobe and also looks super underneath a cape a trend which hasn't really gone away and is coming back bigger and better for winter 
is the puffy 80s headband trend. This is a trend that I absolutely love. I really don't like having hair in my face, so headbands which keep my hair away, I think are a great way of making a statement and one which again can be done really affordably. We're always going to see designers like Jennifer Bear on Netta Porter doing super premium versions, but then we're going to see them in places like Zara and H&M and Topshop as well. So once again on the blog, there'll be a selection of different price brackets to choose from. I will be popping a few of my favorites on the screen now. Personally, I'll be opting for pinks, maybe I might even try some blacks and neutral colours with a little bit of embellishment. As I've mentioned a few times on this channel, it's really only from here up that you get to have fun with your accessories in winter, so a nice pair of statement earrings and a fabulous headband is a great way of just adding something a little bit different to an outfit, accessorising an outfit, making a plain or an old outfit feel new and fresh and stylish again. Because everything from here down is covered, you, can, you can't even tell that I'm wearing nice bracelets today, you certainly wouldn't be able to tell if I was wearing a necklace or not, so earrings and headbands are a great way of accessorising your outfit in winter. I don't know if it's to do with the Jimmy Choo boots, which every influencer on my feed seems to be wearing at the moment, or Fendi or Prada that's to blame, but snake print boots are seeing a huge resurgence this winter. I have found a couple of high street pairs, the pair that I own are from River Island, there's a really similar pair on um, June that you can pick up as well, but they are surprisingly wearable, and I think that snake print boots are a really great way of bringing texture to an otherwise plain outfit. If you tend to wear all black, or like me, you tend to wear all white or all beige, sometimes those colours can all blend into one and not really have much texture to them, so snake print is a really great way of adding that texture back into a winter outfit. I would say that this is a trend that you could invest a little bit more in, I think with footwear it is always worth investing in. As you may know, if you watched my autumn investment pieces video, I was telling you all about my top tips for how to choose the perfect footwear, but snake print as it is a neutral and an animal print, it's not really going to be going out of style anytime soon, so you can definitely invest here and be confident that you can wear them year after year after year. So when it comes to footwear, I would say to invest in the best quality that you can possibly afford. On the high street, retailers like River Island and Dune, I've tested them for many years and I can guarantee the quality is fantastic, but then if you want to splurge a little bit more, Reese, look on uh, websites like the Outnet, they might have some from previous seasons because, as I said, it's a timeless classic, so these kind of patterns are going to be coming into style year after year after year, so you might be able to find something old season, really good quality at a fraction of the price on places like the Outnet too. I've really got into shopping there recently, they have so many amazing pieces. Once again on the blog I've got a an Outnet wishlist post, um, I'll leave that link down below as well. Moving on to number five, and I feel like I do this trend without even thinking about it, and it is tonal dressing, but specifically light coloured tonal dressing. Yes, we did see on some of the catwalks head to toe purple tonal dressing, I wasn't all about that and I definitely haven't seen anyone here in London rocking your head to toe purple look, but we also saw lots of head to toe beige, different tones of beige. Don't be afraid to do like I'm actually doing today and mix a fresh white jumper with a an almost buttery creamy colour leggings white boots, as long as all the tones are in the same kind of palette, a head to toe tonal look is definitely on trend for autumn winter. I also shot this really gorgeous look, which is actually very similar to what I'm wearing right now, but also a lovely tonal, kind of oatmeal-y kind of coat, all from the high street the other day. Absolutely love this, and that would be a perfect example of tonal dressing for autumn winter. And here you can have lots of fun with your accessories as well. Because the tones are all really similar, you can really play around with your accessories and your textures. So bring in nice faux fur scarves, perhaps bring in a pair of leather gloves. That is a fantastic way of making it a little bit more personal to your style. This next trend I absolutely love. We saw it from brands such as Chanel, Philip Lim, and who is the other one? Um, Fendi, of course, and it is the cozy bag trend. When Freddie and I were in Palm Springs, we actually saw a few cosy bags in the Prada outlet. I don't know how they are already in the outlet, maybe the outlets are just amazing. I'll leave that vlog linked up in case you haven't seen it yet, but the bags that I'm talking about and that we've seen recently on the catwalks are, they're almost like shearling or like a brown, um, soft material and then they've got shielding or faux fur as part of the design of the bag. This Chanel box bag, hopefully I can find the picture, is such a cute example. I'm sure it's thousands of pounds and very impractical though, so this is definitely a trend that I will be looking at to the high street for. Retailers like Topshop, River Island, Zara, they will be very soon to jump on this bandwagon, I have no doubt. And I think they're a really fun and cheerful way of adding a winter trend to an otherwise plain outfit if you have got a very classic look and you just want to invest in a small accessory 
accessory to bring your look to be very current for winter 2019, then I think this is a really nice way of doing so. A colour trend that we'll be seeing is butter yellow. Brands like Max Mara with their coats and Jill Sander with beautiful lightweight materials were really opting for this creamy buttery yellow shade and I think it's a really flattering colour for all skin colours, for all hair colours. I think it is a very very wearable shade. I'm really excited for the high street to start bringing this tone into our wardrobes this season. I will be keeping a lookout and showing my favourite pieces on my Instagram so keep an eye on that. And we're also seeing a lot of the designers pairing this butter yellow trend with the sheer trend. I'm seeing a lot of these puff sleeve tops, kind of like bralette tops with big voluminous puff sleeves in this butter yellow colour, but also lots of layering pieces like knitwear and even long line coats in this butter yellow shade. So last year the yellow tone was all about the mustards, this year it's that really beautiful and far more wearable creamy yellow that I can't wait to wear. So moving on really nicely from that is the puff sleeve trend and this has transitioned I think the whole of 2019 the puff sleeves have really been on trend but now even the most affordable of retailers are having these really voluminous puff sleeve tops. I actually picked up a couple from Topshop, um, I'll pop a pick on the screen now but they were just too youthful for me. I'm yet to find one that really suits my style. I think maybe it'll be more of a party wear trend for me. Not really sure how wearable these particular tops were but I have seen some people looking absolutely fantastic in them maybe in some more neutral tones like black or brown it could be a bit more wearable but brands like uh, Givenchy and Amelia Wickstead absolutely made them look incredible on the catwalks and I love it when it comes to knitwear with puff sleeve detail I'm sure the high street will be bringing out even more jumpers with just a slightly raised sleeve almost in like a Victorian style what I love about the high street is when it waters down the trends that we see on the catwalk and make them so much more wearable so I can't wait to see that number nine is another one that I'm not too sure about. It is the mini dress. I think last year the silhouette and hem length of choice was really all about the midi style and I've seen lots of midi skirts and midi dresses in the stores that I shop from most frequently at this time of year but I think we're going to be seeing that hemline really rising especially as we go into the party season. Personally I don't love getting my legs out. I don't tend to wear mini dresses that much but who knows maybe I will succumb to the trend. Most probably wearing my flesh coloured tights at Cape Middleton but I'm all about that warmth and you don't really get that from a mini dress but if you are younger than me or still like to go out partying then I think it's going to be really great to have so many mini dress options on the high street. Saint Laurent really championed the mini dress on the catwalk of course they made it look super chic in these dark wintry tones that will be perfect for the festive season. And last but not least, interestingly, I actually mentioned this as a trend to absolutely avoid in my last trend video. Okay, the trend that I said to avoid was coloured tights, whereas now I would say the trend has evolved to be statement tights. We are seeing the Gucci interlocked G tights everywhere. I'm really tempted by the brown ones, but I don't know if I'm too late to adopt the trend. What do you guys think to the Gucci tights? Are they worth the investment? They are very expensive for a pair of tights. Um, and if the dogs jump up at me, then they are shredded. But I do think they look so, so cool. And then some brands such as Zimmerman are doing printed tights. Zimmerman have got a pair of floral tights, which I never knew I needed until one of my favorite designers brought them out. Personally, I'd love to see Chloe bringing out some statement tights as well. I think with their pony print that would look absolutely gorgeous. Maybe a set that I would be tempted to invest in but I'm sure again the high street won't be too slow on the mark here. It'll be really soon and we'll be seeing lots of different statement tights on the high street and I'm all for that trend because it's so wearable, it's nice to wear with a jumper dress, nice to again add a little bit of personality to your outfit and it keeps you nice and warm so two massive gold stars in my books. I'd love to know if you guys have heard about any other trends or have you spotted any trends emerging in the high street or what your friends or co-workers are wearing let me know what you've spotted or what you predict down in the comment section below and that's all from me darlings I really hope you've enjoyed today's video and the whole of the autumn edit as I said the playlist will be linked down below so you can catch up on any other styling videos if you'd like to see more and that is all from me darlings thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next one bye